Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Apache Solar on Windows. And before starting, we have one prerequisite here. That is making sure that we have a Java installed in our system. So I come here to the CMD. Open the CMD and then type Java hyphen version. Uh, sorry, it is Java. Just let this version. Yeah, right now you can see I have here the Open JDK is installed in my system. In your case, if you don't have. Java already installed, then feel free to come and watch my video or any video online to see how to install uh, the JDK in Windows. Then after that step is completed, what we have to go now is to go on Google here, search the browser and type solar and search. Then we are going to be presented with the page. So we still we go and select this link here where we have https slash solar dot apache dot org as URL and we can see the current versions at the time of this video is being recorded is version nine point two zero. So then click on download. It will take some time here. We are presented again with uh, different options here. What we install right now is the binary release and click on the zip, click on that and download it after some time. Here your download will be there to make it easier. I've already downloaded it here. And then after it's come download is completed, you can come. and unzip it uh, here i will sorry before unzipping here we can first right click the zip go to properties and then on the properties we try to make it this allow here then okay then now we can right click this again and then open it in the current folder yeah my computer is currently now in German sorry but the step must be similar to what you will have in English then it's going on unzipping yes after the unzip is completed we have this new file again we come again and extract this uh, tar folder after this uh, one is, is going is taking some time to complete still extracting Yes, once the extraction is completed, like now, we have our final folder now. We copy this one and put it in the locations where you want to install our solar. In my case, I have come to the C drive, sorry, under my name, solar here, create a folder called solar, and there I paste it there. Again, yeah, it takes some time. Yeah, you could also copy it before unzipping. That is your case. That is your choice. Sorry. It is copying. Sorry. Yeah, once the copy is completed, our system is ready for installations. We come in and come to the bin uh, folder. 
here is the bin folder then copy this part here then come to the CMD paste that type no sorry type CD then paste it and we type here now we are currently in that bin locations in the solar folder then now what we just need to type is uh, solar start yeah, it has detected Java then this uh, enable the security blah 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 memory segment support yeah and then Yeah, after some time now you are going to get this uh, final message that our system is up to that is yeah is up to and running on port eight nine eight three. So this is the default port for solar, but yeah, it may depend like it can be any other port number depending on your system. But yeah, this is the one here now you can see started solar server on port. 8983 then what we have to do now is come here and then we type local host sorry local host dot eight nine eight three Bam. our solar is up and running so here is what we get now here is our system with the different uh, settings security settings and different uh, system information that we have it started three minutes ago and this is the current version that we have then we have the jvm here on time is this oracle 64 bit vm virtual machine processors for and we have all the informations here and now we can come here and see the lock informations the levels and so on and here currently we have no call is available so this is how you can install a solar and then i hope that yeah this has been useful to you now if you click here on core you can see here that we are presented with these options like if you want to create the core so i will stop here the purpose of this first video was to show you how you can install it in the next video in order to make it short and step by step i will show you how you can create and add your first call and access it i hope you like it stay tuned for the next video and if you have any issue feel free to submit yeah your comment i will be happy to assist you yeah as time ever okay bye